Oh, we've got Linda in the house. What do you got for me, Linda? Hi. I don't, Hi. See, I don't see my picture there. I'm not sure why. You're going to have to press a button. <laughs> okay. What button? The one on the screen? I don't know what you need to do on your end. You just have to okay. do it on your end. Uh, There's probably a little camera button there. Let's do that. I don't know. It kept saying it, it was having trouble. But anyway, that's okay if you don't. All know. right. Just talk to me. Um, I have to ask a question. I am actually 75. And I'm okay. still, um, but I, you know, I look at these um, dating apps and I swear to God, everybody thinks they're athletic. Um, they all <laughs> go to the gym five times. And, I and so partly what I'm asking is, is that, I used to be athletic. I okay. used, to, used to do things, but I now have neuropathy, and which means I have no feeling in my feet, but I still walk. I still do all my gardening. I still do all my housework. Um, I still do, do everything. And so do I put that in a profile somehow? Um, or how do you feel about that, that we actually change you know people will say they love to dance i used to be a really great dancer but i'm not anymore sure. um and so it's kind of like this is a part of your life that um that's just changed and you didn't have any control about the change it's not like all of so, a sudden so linda what is your question i asked do you put it in the profile somehow okay so um if you're all right, now let's differentiate between a dating profile on Bumble or Hinge, which is very few characters that you can write, versus a Match.com profile where you can write 400 characters. You can write, you know, half a dozen paragraphs in that. I'm talking, I don't think. Yeah, pardon me. I'm talking about a profile where you can write a little bit about yourself. Not okay, got it, got it, got it. Okay, so I don't think you need to share that. Okay. okay, that's something that you don't need to share. Now, I get the sense why you want to share this because it might, the question is, is this material to the relationship? So for example, if you had herpes, would you put that on a dating profile? No. <laughs> no, because, by the way, but that's material to the relationship, right? Yes. That's material to it. Absolutely. So, but that's certainly something that's private. So you wouldn't put that on a dating profile. Now, that's certainly something you might want to share with someone um, at some point before physical intimacy. So with respects to your, um, what you, what's it called again? My, um, it's, um, neuro it's neuropathy. Neuropathy. I wanted to say, I uh, wanted to start with an M. Neuropathy. Um, most people at 75 years old, and I'm assuming you're dating men close to your own age, recognize yes. that we are older and we are less, you know, we are not what we used to be. In fact, the life expectancy is like five to 10 years from now for you. Um, most human beings recognize that. Now, I want to go back to your previous statement, how so many people put athletic and work yeah. five times a week. Okay. So, um, you know, I, I think we all have this, um, we, we, we view, I like the way Chris Rock says it, we show up as the ambassador of our best selves. I think human beings project the way they think they are out to the world versus the way they really are, okay? It's a projection on for the most part. Now, I don't consider myself athletic, but I don't consider myself average. There isn't anything in the in-between category for me. Um, but I do walk five days a week, to me, that's exercise. Okay. Right. Is that, is that weight training exercise? No, I do occasionally do weight training. So this is where it gets kind of granular. Um, and it's a difference of a preference or a perspective on things. But I think most humans have a propensity to project who they think they are into this world because we should, we'd like to show up as the ambassador of our best selves. And that's the why. I, okay. I just find that most of the time when I meet them in person, they're not even close. <laughs> so I'm by the way, And by the way, every, and I will tell you as a man out in the dating world, every woman projects with the way they think they are and men project. They, this is a human oh, I, issue. This isn't singular to a gender. No, no, I agree. I agree. But you then this is where, but ultimately look, you know, you're 75 years old. 
it's not about the it's not as much about the body as it is as much of the heart. That's what matters most. I so, mean, at the end of the day. Um, you made a good point there about the heart. How would you in a profile project that um you do have a good heart? You you are kind, you're caring, you're you, you know, but here here's what I think when I see those profiles that say I'm kind, I'm caring, my loving, right. my best friend says this. This is what I think. Wah, 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 yeah. wah. Because it's just, okay, these are things you have to experience with another human being. Yeah. You can't project it out there. Because what's someone going to say? I'm an asshole. I'm a jerk. <laughs> I'm ungiving. Like, or are you going to write what you're not? You know, so, but by writing those, you're still just a lot of words because until you actually experience another human being, right. you're not going to have that. Hey, listen, Linda, my son is picking me up in a few minutes. I'm going to be wrapping up this video. Okay, thank thanks. you for your question. I really appreciate it. All right. Thank you. Big hugs to you. Big Jonathan Bear hugs to thank you. Thank you. All right, everyone. Uh, we just talked about what men see, uh, men over 40 secretly long for more than sex. These are the emotionally grown up men that we're talking about. They want acceptance, they want respect, they want trust, they want emotional connection, they want validation, they want teamwork. Every human being, men and women alike, want this. And just like uh, Linda wants, you know, she wants that acceptance for what she has, okay? And by the way, it doesn't sound like that big of a deal. And by the way, when you get to this age, those are just natural things that are gonna happen for a human being. We just wanna merely be accepted for who we are. And again, men wanna be accepted for who they are. So if they put down athletic, it's because they're afraid they're gonna be judged or not accepted for being average. And that just happens to be the case in many cases. All right, everyone. Hey, I'm off to have uh, breakfast with my son, Colin, early Father's Day. I'm doing a, a camp tomorrow with a group of other friends for Father's Day. So I hope you got value out of this conversation. If you did, well, first off, if I'd like to hear your thoughts on this, post a comment below. If you got value from this video, please hit that like button. Please share this video. Please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell uh, to be notified of new videos. By the way, I'd be love to get some donations before we wrap up. Hit that little dollar sign. Let's donate to the Connor as scholarship fund by hitting that little dollar sign and donating as well. All right. And if you want to connect with me directly, schedule a look at the link to schedule a discovery call. Join my group called Midlife Love Mastery. And follow me on Instagram. Uh, get the books I recommend. Get my uh, dating vows all listed below. And we're going to wrap up this video as I always do. First off, oh, thank you. First off, give myself a big gigantic Jonathan Bear hug. I'm going to reach into the camera and give you a hug of love if that's okay. I'm going to ask you to turn to someone. That teddy bear of pillow. Give it or them a hug of love because hugs are a great source of love. And let's face it, we could all use more love in our lives. Terry says, enjoy your lunch with your son. Tracy says, happy Father's Day. Ellie says, happy Father's Day. Thank you. Leaf says, thank you, Jonathan. Happy Father's Day. Jill says, happy Father's Day. Um... Maureen says, happy Father's Day. Beach Lover says, happy Father's Day. Christine Crane says, so glad I finally caught you live. Tracy says, great live. Um, let's see what else. Roller Girl says, enjoy your family. Thank you so much, everyone. Wishing you a super duper wonderful day. Take care. Bye now.